Okay, so that's what we'll we'll do that in the uh, in one of these following examples. Well, it looks like this one. Uh, it, nine two um, example nine two says rework nine one, assuming the steel bar is fifty millimeters by fifty millimeters cross sectional area and or cross section, not cross sectional area, and the axle tensile load is four hundred kilonewtons. And basically, what they're doing there is they're just trying to show you a, a metric version of the same problem. Okay, so it's 50 times 50, right? You have 2,500 uh, square millimeters, and you change that into square meters, and then you're going to have to change the kilonewtons into newtons. So it'll be your your uh, answer will be in newton meter squared which is also megapascals, okay? So that's the only difference there. If you see one that's a metric problem, you know you're gonna have to convert it to newtons and meters, meter, square meters, okay? So keep that in mind as you go along. You may end up seeing a problem or two like that come test time, you never know. So I suspect on this one, though, it'll be more than one problem like the last test. You'll have multiple problems on this one. But and you'll see as you do these problems in the back of the book or in the uh, back of the chapter that uh, some of them won't take very long. So thus you'll have a bunch of them to do for Wednesday. Is that just what you wanted to hear? Can I hear it? Hey, Amen. The easy one, though. The easy, yeah. Nine two is going to be ten minutes at the most. It better be. Okay, so example 9-3, on the same page, pictures on the next page, it looks like what you're seeing there on the screen. It says, steel rod suspenders are to support pipes in a power plant, as shown in figure 9-4, or 9.4. Now, you might see something like this. We have uh, companies where co-ops and uh, graduates go out and put up uh, sprinkler systems in buildings. Uh, we've got several people doing that out in the, in the field exactly like that I mean you've got a pipe you've got some hangers you got to figure out what size you need okay so a great example of what you might see out in the field uh, let's see each rod is 3 eighths of an inch in diameter and has an allowable axle tensile stress of 24,000 PSI in the body of the rod calculate the allowable axle tensile load in each rod in each rod now okay so the cross-sectional area of the 3 8 inch diameter rod is calculated as pi times the diameter squared divided by 4. So the cross-sectional area in each rod is 0.1104. Let's see, that's all we need, isn't it? So we know what the allowable stress is. That was given as 24,000 pounds per square inch. We know what the area is now, so we should be able to figure out what the force is that that can withstand, that 3 8 diameter rod can withstand 2,650 pounds of force, okay? That's each one, right? Each one of these could, where's my cursor? Each one of these could withstand 2,650 pounds. Okay, that's the kind of problems, I'm sorry, it's not going to take you that long to, to calculate that. I sure hope not. Okay, again, you just have to remember that you've got the stress equals the force over the area or some rearrangement of those three variables, right? That's it. Do not overcomplicate this, okay? Then if you have to, you may have to go look for the area in a chart somewhere, if it's a structural type shape. If it's not, I mean, here you just got some pipe, right? If you, if you were dealing with the pipe, but you're dealing with this rod right here, okay, eventually you may have to deal with a piece of pipe. You can still find the area in that pipe, couldn't you? That's not this problem, mind you. But you still could do that, just like with the moment equation, or the uh, moment of inertia equations. You can do that, okay? 
Well, let's see. Now, example problem four nine or 